Good evening, my friends. This is BJ Bronze K. At last I can reveal what some of you have suspected for a long time. I am, in fact, a robot. I hope you have enjoyed my reviews up to this point, and that I have been a service to humanity. Please subscribe. All right. Now we can reveal the charade by switching to the bypass switch. There we go. All right, uh, I've know. just been playing yeah. around with some of the new rack extensions in Reason 6.5. It's simply amazing. They have uh, extended the power of this program, which previously was an amazing virtual studio, but was not able to have plugins. VST and other types, but now they have created a brand new type of plugin, and they're called Rack Extensions. They work with reason, even down to the wires, so the integration is very close. Now I would like to show you a uh, sequence that I prepared earlier. Some of you who are familiar with my reviews might recognize the tune. It's sort of a new version. But first I will play it with the features of Reason 6. And then I will activate new features that are exclusive. Version 6.5. And uh, because it is a free download, you do not have any reason not to update yours now and try out these rack extensions. They are really very amazing. So now I'm going to unsolo this track and play the entire sequence for you. You recognize this. Now my question to you is, what is this new sound? What are the new features available in Reason 6.5? I'm going to show you a couple of my favorite rack extensions. We will now open up Buffer. It's a beat repeat plugin, and you can use it to create um, the sort of glitch sounds that you might have heard in IDM, in dubstep, in glitch house. It's a very popular sort of sound, so that's great. And now we have it within reason with the buffer rack extension. As you can tell, there are there there are there there are there there are 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 many different types 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 types. Let's see. There are many different types of adjustments that you can try. Different types, different types, different types, different types. 
Eastman to Eastman to try. Anyway, so that is one beat mangling plugin or rack extension. And then here's another the Slice Arranger. They both work a little bit differently. But if you're really into glitch type of music, you probably want them both, I would say. On this one, this, no. No. This, this, no. You can turn up the knob. Also adjust this, different this, parameters. No. You'll notice my announcer's voice is this, going this, to no. this as well. And I was using this earlier. Early in order to get some of that uh, robotizing effect on there. But anyway, that's great. You know, I like to do beat repeat type effects. <laughs> Losing control there, and sometimes that can be cool. But you can even get reverse effects. And if you map all of these to a MIDI controller, which I have not currently done, you can get even more things. And there's a randomize. <laughs> that allows you to change things up quite a bit. All right. Anyway, so now I'm going to turn down some of these other voices and I will show you another couple of rack extensions that you will love. So what I was using earlier what I was using earlier was um, the bit speak here I'll, I'll put it on the lead vocal so you can hear that With a little clever adjustment, you can soon make yourself sound like a robot from the 1980s or the 2080s. You know, there are all sorts of interesting parameters here. I'm just getting started with what it could possibly do. <laughs> it's very strange, all right. And in this case, strange is very good for that sort of music. All right, and another thing. Now I will bypass. What is this what new is this sound? sound? And activate the polar. Sound, 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 sound. What is this new what is this sound, sound, sound? It is a dual pitch shifter. Sound, sound. You can hear it doubling my voice. See, this is with it on and this is with it off. What is this sound? Notice. I can also do glitch effects with it by catching a little bit of audio. Capturing a little of the audio and then transforming it. That is very cool. Wow, I have transformed myself from a spoken word artist into an entire singing choir with that. Very impressive. Let's just hear some of the beat chopping once again. Of 
course, just using things completely randomly is not as good as carefully planning out what you're going to do. Part experimentation and part um, using things carefully is a great way to go about things. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this brief introduction to some rack extensions available in Reason 6.5. And you can download the ones you choose and purchase them so you don't have to purchase the ones you're not interested in. And there's quite a choice already. There's going to be a lot more on the prop shop. So, um, but there's already a good selection. Stay tuned in the coming months as they release more and more plugins on the prop shop. And um, it's very smooth operating. It's uh, It might remind you of the iTunes music store in how smoothly it operates. And they let you try out the plugins, which is really excellent because then you will not be disappointed with what you purchase. What is this sound? I hope you have enjoyed this review. This is BJ Franz K signing out for now. Subscribe for more Reason 6.5 and other electronic music demonstrations of the latest software and hardware for making electronic music, electronic visuals, and all sorts of facets of the high-tech lifestyle. Even if you are a human, there is a lot to like in Reason 6.5. Good night, my friends, and pleasant dreams. Dream, dream.